Were you watching me in my bedroom? No. Don't... That, that's just... Sick? What do you think I am? I don't know, Lachlan. That's what's so terrifying. You could see how worried we all were. You, you could see what a mess I was. How could you just watch me suffering? It hurts, doesn't it? Being betrayed by somebody you love. You took Robert's side against me. Is that what this is about? You know what he's like. What he's capable of. He pushed me through that glass table. <gasps> what? See, this is what I'm talking about. You don't believe me about anything. I'm your son! I do believe you. And I'm sorry that you had to go through that. But can't you see that your reaction to getting hurt is not normal? What's going on? Let's go. You're not going anywhere. I can just come back there. I think that's probably for the best. No. Come on. We're done. I mean, I'm happy to do it in front of Belle. It's your choice. But I, I think it's family business. It's probably better if you did leave. OK. Fine. I'll call you. <clears throat> Sorry, Belle. I'm going to call that counsellor that you had, see if she can refer you to Don't someone. you dare! I'm not even having this conversation with you. It's you that needs help. You're the one with the problems. Where's Grandad and Rebecca? I asked them to give us some space. It's very brave. Risking being alone with your psycho kid. I mean, who knows what he's capable of? You and I both know we can't carry on like this. There is no shame in asking for help. I'm sorry if it interferes with your plans with Belle, but she'll understand. I mean, she's had her problems, hasn't she? You never listen, do you? Lachlan, you're bleeding! What? <sighs> you know, you pretend like you're listening. But all you're ever really doing is just waiting your next chance to speak again. Please let me help you. All you ever do is make things worse. <laughs> but I'm not a kid anymore, Mum. I'm the one who's in charge now.